So, so I would say we have this giant BIS Innovation Network where pretty much every central bank of the world can be a member. And so, so that's really the, the channel that we use internally to share um, within central banking, share all the lessons learned. But, but I don't think there's not, not much, that much that we haven't put out in, in the public in, in our, our reports. We're doing some work where we actually try. I think now we have four different projects on, on cross-border CBDC, and we're, we're, we're working on kind of like comparing the, the results, right? It was all about getting ahead, and now we're just taking a little step back and do what was the lessons learned across all four projects. Mm -hmm. So that, I think that's going to come out soon and be interesting. And Jennifer, how does it, you've announced some pilot projects, you know, how does it play into what DDP yeah. is doing? Yeah, so uh, similarly to our earlier discussion, um, part of DDP's uh, value is that we see the financial infrastructure that's underpinning this work as a societal good. And because of that, we believe, again, not, uh, well, obviously a central bank digital currency is a central bank digital currency because it is issued from a central bank. So uh, we believe bringing the private sector together and using the skill set and the resources within the private sector in service of helping understand in an open way how, uh, uh, what some design, um, both technical and policy choices might look like um, uh, to contribute to the conversation that perhaps central banks do not have. They do not have the speed or, or the resources necessarily. Um, so doing that in service of the, the social good um, is, is very important to us. And I think, again, thinking about that interoperability the central banks are going to have to work with the private sector, um, whether they choose to issue a central bank digital currency or not. We're looking at a future world where there will be all forms of money existing simultaneously, I think, for a while. Mm -hmm. So again, how are we building that infrastructure together to be able to support all the different shapes uh, that that money might take globally? Um, and, and that takes a, a diverse set of stakeholders. Um, so it is the central banks, it is the commercial banks, it's the payment providers, et cetera. Um, and we're just trying to fill uh, that, one, that one piece of experimentation and data in this larger conversation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So just to be sure, like any forms of money or payment system today is a public-private partnership, That's right. and it will also be so in the future.